Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do my curly hair routine. Pardon my voice, I am just getting over a cold, just a disclaimer there. But I'm gonna be doing my curly hair routine. So if you guys wanna see how I get my beautiful curls because I am so so in love with my hair right now. I can't, I can't. Okay, if you guys want to see, then please stay tuned. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, then let's get this video to a thousand likes. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. And let's get right into the video. Okay, so my hair has been air drying for about two to three hours. I usually let it air dry for like an hour to two hours if I'm patient enough. And today I was really patient, so I let it air dry even longer. I'm gonna show you what I washed my hair with and what I did in the shower, and I'll explain it to you. And then I'm going to show you how I finish off the styling portion of my curly hair routine. So to cleanse my hair, I've been using the Diva Curl Low Poo Delight. And I have to say like this really, really cleanses your hair. It's sulfate paraben and silicone free. So so it really doesn't strip your hair from the moisture that your curls need and anything like that but it still really really cleanses your hair it's a mild lather cleanser so it's slightly sudsy but it's not as sudsy as a shampoo with like sulfate and all that stuff in it will be but I still really really love this and it smells like really really good but anyways um this is what I use to cleanse my hair and this is what I have been using for the past two months and I love it I also decided to put a treatment in my hair today because as I said my hair I've been um, sick this past week so my hair has been lacking a lot of moisture since I haven't been really taking care of it this past week So the treatment that I use is the diva curl heaven in hair And this is a treatment that you can use for up to 15 to 30 minutes And I think I left it for like almost an hour and it's supposed to be a Intense moisture treatment. This is a really really good treatment And as I said since I haven't been adding a lot of product in my hair the past couple of days I really felt like I needed a moisture treatment and this has been the treatment that I've been using in my hair for the past two months as I said too also if you have like I've dyed my hair and I've had bleached my hair and all that stuff a moisture treatment is definitely for you and I would definitely recommend the heaven and hair treatment so after about an hour 45 minutes to an hour I washed off the heaven and hair treatment I left a little bit of product in my hair not too much but just a slight tad bit of product in here in my hair not in your hair in my hair and then I went in with my wave maker I am more on the curly side but I do I am still working on getting my curl pattern to be even better so the wave maker is a really light product and it does help the strands that are like super heat damaged it does help those strands like come back to life a little bit I actually put this on when I was in the shower I tilted my head over like let's see if I can show you guys but I tilted my head over like this I just started applying it all over my hair and then I started scrunching I scrunched for about two to three minutes your back does start hurting my back does start hurting anyway but I scrunched for about two to three minutes and I raked this through my hair first actually I did rake this through my hair and I did let me rewind a little bit when I had the heaven in hair treatment in my hair I do this with conditioner as well if I'm using conditioner for the wash but I do rake through my hair and detangle it at that moment um, I don't use a comb or a brush in my hair ever actually like since I've been on this curly hair journey I have not used a brush or a comb at all. I just use my fingers to detangle my hair when I have the conditioner in my hair or in this case when I had the heaven in hair treatment in my hair. So I just rake through my hair and make sure that I have no tangles in my hair and so the product could also run all through all strands of my hair and my whole head is getting the treatment that it needs. When I'm applying this my hair is really not tangled anymore. My hair doesn't get usually like tangled tangled anyway in the first place so I just rake this through my hair and then I start the scrunching but I do all of this with my hair all uh tilted forward like my head is like all the way just as I showed you guys, you get one. And then I scrunch for about two to three minutes and then I am done in the shower. So after I apply my wave maker, I like to take my Diva Curl Micro Fiber Towel. This towel feels so soft. It honestly feels like a blanket, but it's so, so good for your curls. It actually eliminates a lot of the frizz that regular towels would cause. So what I do is as I have my head flipped over, I start like scrunching the excess water because I do apply the wave maker when my hair is like really like drenched obviously I applied in the shower so I do apply my wave maker when my hair is drenched so I take out the excess water and product with the diva curl microfiber towel I just 
just keep scrunching with that for a little bit. And if you don't have a microfiber, microfiber towel, then you can also use like a cotton t-shirt or you can use like a pillowcase, just not a regular towel because it will create a lot more frizz than I think you'd want. So yeah, also like to use this microfiber towel. This is actually a, like a turban and it is made for white when you come out the shower after you've washed your hair. What I really like about this is that it has the little button and the little thingamajig right there for you to actually wrap your hair. Usually I air dry like that for about an hour and a half to two hours as I said before. Um, however, today I did film this makeup look which will be linked down in the description box below. So I just had my hair out air drying while I was doing that makeup tutorial and I didn't have it in the towel. And now we are gonna get to the fun part. So I'm gonna apply my Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler. I don't always apply the coconut cream, but I do wanna add just a little bit more moisture before I apply my gel. So I am gonna just apply a little bit of this, probably like one full pump, and I'll see if I need any more. But I'm just gonna apply this on my hair. And I don't apply any of my, like, my treatment and my styling products. I don't add them, like, to the roots of my hair. I just add it on my actual hair and make sure sure to get my ends. I'm so happy with my hair. I'm gonna apply like half a pump to my ends now because my ends do feel a little bit dry. -er. Honestly guys, I think I'm gonna start air drying. No, I can't, I can't, I need to diffuse. I need to diffuse. I apply my light defining gel. I use this every single time I am styling my hair. Like this is first day hair. Obviously I just washed it, but I use it for first day, second day, third day, 10th day, everything. Like this does not get your hair crunchy at all. So I really, really like it. I take a generous amount, I guess you can say. Apply this as I do with my wave maker. Flip my head this way. Then I just put it all over my hair. I hope you can see this guys. Okay, and then I just scrunch with this gel. And this gel also smells so, so good. But I have been using the, like all of these products since I've gotten my Diva Cut, which I will also link down below. I did make a video on my experience. They've been working super well for me. In the past, I have used like Cantu and Shea Moisture and John Frieda. I always, I did always like a lot of those products as well, but I've just decided to stay true to, stay true to Diva Curl. <laughs> these past two months and this is what my curly hair routine has been so this is what I want to share with you share it with you in the future I will do um, curly hair routines with different products and other brands after I apply my light define and gel then I start diffusing this blow dryer is from PYT hair and I think this diffuser came with it I really can't remember if not I got this diffuser from like another blow dryer like so I flip my head forward I'm not gonna turn it on while I'm speaking because you wouldn't be able to hear me well but I flip my hair over as I showed you how I apply the products that is how I diffuse and I just keep going like this you guys will see in a second and then I also just put my hair to each side and just keep diffusing in that way right now my hair is pretty much dry it's a little bit damp because of the gel and stuff like that but it is pretty much dry so I am just diffusing for more volume and to completely dry it up so yeah oh before i start um i do put it on it has like the controls right here this is for power so i do put it all the way up to number two and then this is for heat which it should be at number one i am gonna keep it on one and i do sometimes use a cool shot here and there Okay, so as you can see, that did add a little bit of volume. However, I still do go back in with my Diva Fuser. Actually, I forgot to tell you guys that while I am diffusing, I am also scrunching because that does define the curl even more and it does emphasize the curl pattern. So I really do like to do that while I'm diffusing as well, just to set it in stone. I'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse with my Diva Fuser. Also, another thing about the Diva Fuser is that it's really, really good to dry your roots if your hair is super damp. So you can just put it like underneath and just dry your roots. Another thing I like to do, which is what I was just doing now, is to put it underneath my hair and give it a little bit of shake. Give it a little bit of shake. Give it a little bit of a shake because then that creates more um, volume and a little bit of frizz at the root, but you still won't be able to really see it on the outside, which is always a good thing. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and you'll see how I use my Diva Fuser. 
look at this volume but once i am done with that i am pretty much done with my curly hair routine the only thing that i like to do for more volume of course is i like to flip my head over and kind of go like this and I do it actually um, in the front too, but kind of just pull out my roots a little bit because it makes it a little bit bigger. But I definitely like to do that on like second day or third day hair or like older day hair with an afro pick and it actually does make, my, make a huge difference. All right. So this is how my hair looks um, on first day curls and after I do everything that I just showed you guys. I really, really love the process and I love how my hair just keeps getting curly and curlier and I love how even on a bad hair day I still accept it because it's my hair so I don't ever feel like I have like a bad hair day because it's just my natural hair so it really is all around like empowering and so happy that I finally learned after 23 years of life I finally learned how to really really care for my hair in a better healthier way but let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about what do you guys think about my curly hair routine what do you guys like about it as I said if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!